Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing this look right here. So I am using the new spring shadow palette from Lime Life. So this is um, the Fresh Picked Collection. So all of these are supposed to represent colors of flowers as you see on the front here. It's super, super pretty. So I went in and I used, um, I focused on like the green and the whoopsie daisy because this has a nice like green tone to it. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I just thought this was a, the perfect video for spring. It's mainly just focused on how to get this eyeshadow look. So if you wanna see how I Got it then keep watching. I'm gonna start by priming my lids with the Lime Life Concealer number one. So this one has kind of yellow and green undertones so this will cancel out any um, redness or purple that you may have and this because it is a nice wax base waterproof concealer it's gonna act as a really nice base for your shadow. It's gonna make your shadow really really pop. So I'm just blending it in with this number five brush here. This is my favorite way to blend in my concealer. Now I'm gonna set that with um, translucent powder. This is the Lime Life translucent powder. Um, if you do not set this and you try to go in right with shadow, your shadow will kind of be choppy and hard to blend. So you just wanna dust on some of that translucent powder so it gives a nice base. Okay, let's get to the fun stuff. So now I'm gonna go in with this palette. I'm gonna go in with this Marigold shade right here. Is that what it's called? Pure Marigold. And I am just gonna work this into the crease area. You only need a little bit on your brush. And I'm just gonna move it back and forth. I love this color in the crease. It is just, it's so beautiful. I know it looks like a little scary in the pan, but I swear this just looks so gorgeous. Um, and then once I do windshield wiper motions back and forth like that, I like to also drag it into the corner and up. So I just kind of swirl it around in the corner and work my way up. Go back over that crease again. So now I'm gonna go in with brownie points right here. So this is a nice warm brown. It is one of my favorite shades to use in the outer crease. Um, so I'm gonna dip just a little pencil brush in it because I want to deepen the corners and then I am just gonna pounce that into the outer V and then once I have that on, I'm gonna pick up my same blending brush and I am just gonna work that in. All right, once I have a little dark there, I'm gonna go back in with the Pure Marigold and I am just gonna dust that over top to kind of blend it in. And then take it all the way up to the crease there. So you guys know I always do my eyes before my face because that way I can just be kind of sloppy with my application and it's very easy to clean up afterwards. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to really make the shadow on your lid pop. So I'm gonna go back in with some of my concealer here and my concealer brush and I am just going to tap that onto the lid up to the crease. And then I'm not gonna go all the way over the dark, but partially, if you can see where I'm tapping it. And then this is really gonna make that lid color pop. So I am gonna go in with Whoopsie Daisy right here. So when it goes on the eye, it almost has like a yellowy, greeny effect. It's really, really cool. I'm also going to take some MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to wet my brush before I put it in this shimmer because we want it to be shimmery and then I'm just going to tap it over where the concealer was. And then I'm going to take it over the dark stuff too. And then I'm going to work it into the crease. And then I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and I am just going to blend the marigold and the whoopsie daisy together, right in that crease area. 
So now I'm going to go in with this true green shade here. This is called Always Greener and I am going to take some on my flat brush again and I'm going to do this more on the outer corner and work it to the center. but without taking it all the way in. Can you see that? And then again, I'm gonna go back with the fluffy brush and I am going to blend that uh, smaller pencil brush. And again, take that darker shade, that brownie points, number eight, and just do a little bit on the outer corner because you probably covered some of that up with the green. And this is just deepening the corner again and your fluffy brush and we're just gonna blend that. Okay, so now I am going to clean up my under eye that my shadows are done. I just have some lotion here and a Q-tip and then I go all the way under my eye and then I sharpen the edge. Bringing it kind of diagonal with the end of your eyebrow. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on my face. I already primed my face with the first base priming spray and I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation, concealer, and translucent powder. Okay, so now I finished pretty much the rest of my face. We're gonna go in and we are gonna finish the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take again my darker shade and I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I am just going to do the outer corner very, very, very lightly and take it about halfway wipe my brush off and then I'm gonna blend that all the way I'm taking it all the way this time now I'm gonna go in with this green shade here and I am going to do this try to run it along all underneath just give it a pop of color then I'm gonna go in with Whoopsie Daisy again and I am gonna use the pencil brush and I'm gonna highlight the inner corner of my eye. All right, I popped some mascara on so this look is almost done. Um, so I'm gonna go in with this black waterproof gel liner. It's in like this pencil form. So this is from the new spring collection and I am gonna go in on my waterline and you guys are gonna see how this really makes your eye makeup pop even more. So these are perfect for the waterline because they are waterproof. They last all day. They are so pigmented, so creamy. See the difference between this eye and this eye? It just really, really makes your green and your color pop. Okay, so the last thing we have to pull this entire look together is lipstick. So because I have some color on my eyes, I wanted to go with something a little more neutral. So this is the number 100 lipstick from Lime Life here. Um, it's a very nice neutral. And this lasts probably about four hours on my lips or even longer. So it's like pretty long wearing. If you want even longer wear out of your, out of your perfect lipstick, then what you can do is you can line your lips first and fill them in with the Enduring Lip Pencil. This will give you about eight hours of wear when you layer them together. So that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love green eyeshadows. So anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.